first we need to get to the main screen of the mate. While holding the mate, press the bottom left two buttons at the same time. From this screen you have the options of Summary, Status, Setup, and Advanced. Select Advanced. Press any button to skip over the warning screen. Now press the Increase button to change your password to 141. Press Enter. Choose DC. Choose Battery. Your battery capacity is your total battery bank capacity in amp hours at the 20 hour rate. Press Increase or Decrease to adjust this value. Press Top. Select Shunt. The first screen you come to is Shunt A mode. Press Enable or Disable to tell the FlexNet DC whether or not to monitor the shunt. How do you know if you need to monitor a particular shunt? You can check your wiring. If you have anything connected to the shunt A port of the FlexNet DC, you'll want to enable this. Press down. Press Enable or Disable to set up shunt B accordingly. Press down. Press Enable or Disable to set up Shunt C accordingly. Press down. Shunt Setup Complete. Select Top. Select Top again. Select Page 2. Select Charge. Return amps should be set between 1 and 2% of your total battery bank capacity. For instance, if you have a 100 amp hour bank, you would set this number to be between 1 and 2. Press Increase or Decrease to set this number. Press Down. Battery voltage is the voltage your system must see before the FlexNet DC will accept the batteries as full. If you have a 12 or 24 volt bank, set this number to be 2 tenths less than your absorb voltage. If you have a 48 volt bank, set this number to be 4 tenths less than your absorb voltage. Press Increase or Decrease to adjust this value. Press Down. Parameters Met Time is the length of time the system must see both the return amps and the battery voltage at the previous set points before the FlexNet DC will accept the batteries as a full 100%. Press Increase or Decrease to set this time, though the default value of one minute is usually sufficient. Press Down. Charge factor is the compensation factor for losses in the recharging and discharging of the battery. By default, this value is 94% and is usually an optimal set point. So at 94%, the system would count every 100 amp hours sent back to the batteries as only 94 amp hours. Press increase or decrease to adjust this value. Press down. Charge parameters complete. You have successfully programmed your FlexNet DC. Press Main to get back to the main screen. At this point, we also recommend unplugging your FlexNet DC from the hub and charging up your batteries fully. After your batteries are fully charged, plug the FlexNet DC back into the hub, and your FlexNet DC will synchronize to your batteries.